Hey everybody, it's Rich Brooks of Flight New Media. We're a web design and internet marketing company located in Portland, Maine and on the web at www.flight.biz. Today we're talking about traffic reports, specifically Google Analytics. Now the reason, one of the reasons why you probably want to have a traffic report to your website is to get a better understanding of how people are finding your website. That information will allow you to create a better website that will drive even more qualified leads. So one of the things we want to do on the Google Analytics is check out the traffic sources. From the dashboard you can just check on traffic sources in the navigation you see a bunch of different options. Google Analytics breaks down traffic sources into three, direct cate three categories. Direct traffic, which are the people who type in your URL or have bookmarked your URL or who are following an email newsletter link from an email program, a desktop email program like Outlook. Referring sites are sites that link to you. When people click on the link to your website and they come to your website, that's a referral. And finally, the search engines. What traffic is coming from the search engines? And you can see right here from the breakdown of our own pie chart that we're getting about 57% of our traffic through the search engines, referring sites make up about 31%, and about a little more than 11% are directly typing in our information. We can click on direct traffic and get a little more information about what that's what that traffic is like. And over the last month we can see a spike here on Tuesday, February 3rd, and that actually came from an email newsletter we sent out that day. We can check out the referring sites and see which sites are linking to us. And you might notice that images.google.com and images.google.co.in seem to be search engine results, but because they're the images search, Google organizes them as a referral and not actually as a search result. But as we go down, we can see where traffic's coming from from other websites, such as our number two resource is the Flight Blog, our own blog that's at a different URL. Um, Fast Company, where I blog, uh, is sent us 78 visitors last month. Also a blog that we write over at Maine Today, StumbleUpon, Twitter. So these are all different websites, a lot of which are social media sites, sending traffic towards flight.biz. Another thing that everybody's interested in is how they're doing at the search engines. So we can see the breakdown of the search engines by search engine right here. And you can see that Google is giving us just an incredible uh, number of visits, especially compared to the other search engines. In fact, we can change the view and switch over to percentage, and we can see that uh, Google is almost a full moon when it comes to delivering search engine traffic to flight. We might want to take a look at this and say, well, what should we be doing different at Yahoo or AOL or Live to drive more traffic from those search engines? Another thing that you're going to be interested in is the keywords. What are the words your visitors are searching for at Google and Yahoo and MSN to drive leads to your website? And so here we see the top ones, how to use Twitter for business, how does Twitter work. So a lot of Twitter-themed topics in the last month using Twitter for business. As I scroll down, I also see some other ones that are driving business to our website, such as web design portfolio, um, setting up a web page, setting up a website. Sometimes you might want to go through your longer list and find themes even if they're not exactly the same, find themes like setting up a website, questions to ask before setting up a website, or whatever it's right for your business, and start creating new content around some of those topics. Well, that's it for taking a look at the traffic reports today. You can certainly get some good ideas on how to look through your traffic reports and see where your traffic's coming from and then making improvements based on those results. If you have any more questions, come to our website at www.flight.biz. Click on the contact form and send us a question. We'll be happy to answer it. Until next time, take care. This is Rich Brooks of Flight New Media.